Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghu here. In this class, we will discuss about uh, how the proof of binomial distribution to Poisson distribution. In our last class, we understand the concept of uh, when we are going to apply Poisson distribution. There, we have provided you the intuition about what is lambda and how we got the value of lambda is equal to NP. These things are discussed in our last class. This is a continuation class. Please watch the class and come back here. The link for the playlist is provided in the description below. Coming to today's class. So in this class, we are going to prove the binomial distribution to Poisson distribution, the Poisson's probability mass function equation. How we got that probability mass function, that value we are going to apply. Uh, we are going to identify we are uh, solve it uh, in this class and in our next class we are going to understand uh, why n tends to infinite this is the thing which we are going to understand in our next class uh. so in Poisson's uh, distribution we provide so they are going to provide you the lambda value lambda means rate value lambda is equal to np so up to here we have discussed it previously and uh, here in Poisson's distribution our assumption here is uh, n tends to infinite and p tends to zero why we are going to understand in our next class. So now based on this assumption, so P can be written as P is equal to lambda n, lambda by n. Now coming to the proof. So binomial distribution B of x n comma P is given as n c x P power x 1 minus P power n minus x. Here in place of P we can substitute lambda by n. So n c x can be written as n factorial by x factorial n minus x factorial in place of p place it as lambda by n whole power x 1 minus lambda by n whole power n minus x now coming to this n factorial by x factorial n minus x factorial in n factorial we are having n minus x factorial also if you cancel out out remaining terms rem, uh, remaining terms are n n minus 1 n minus 2 so on n minus x minus 1 after that we will have n minus x factorial that cancelled out with the denominator. So we got that uh, this divided by this lambda by n whole power x can be written as lambda power x divided by n power x. So from uh, and uh, 1 minus lambda by n whole power n minus x. Now coming to this equation to this equation. So n n minus 1 n minus 2 so on n minus x minus 1 divided by n power x. This can be written as like this. This equation how we write that equation in place of this equation see here n 1 minus 1 by n can be written as n minus 1 by n 1 minus 2 by n can be written as n minus 2 by n n minus x minus 1 by n total how many n's in the denominator n power x minus 1 denominators but here we are having n power x de denominators n multiplied n times x times one n cancelled out with this n that's why we can write this equation like this the same equation these two terms can be written in this equation lambda power x divided by x factorial 1 minus lambda by n whole power n minus x so when you separate it lambda power x by x factorial remaining terms are this is the remaining term and multiplied by this can be written as 1 minus lambda by n whole power n minus x can be written as 1 minus lambda by n whole power n divided by 1 minus lambda by n whole power x so from our uh, plus 1 plus 2 mathematics uh, in from the limits we are having this equation this equation as n tends to infinity this equation tends to 1 so we are not going with uh, the plus 1 plus 2 mathematics how we got this equal to 1 because this is out of uh, bound for this syllabus uh, here our intuition is uh, we have to understand how we got the Poisson's mass Poisson's distribution probability mass function so this goes to 1 and 1 minus lambda by n whole power x tends to 1 and 1 minus lambda by n whole power n tends to e power minus lambda so when you substitute this is 1 this is 1 and this is e power minus lambda we got the equation e power minus lambda lambda power x by x factorial so as n tends to infinite and p tends to 0 we got the probability mass function of Poisson's distribution that's why we say it as a Poisson's distribution is a approximation of binomial distribution
we got the equation from binomial distribution uh, and one more important point you have to understand uh, when we discussed in our in our last class in binomial distribution as n tends n is equal to 10 means uh, n random experiments has been done out of that uh, how many success are there uh, so how many possibilities are there what is our random variable random variable x goes with uh, zero success one success two success three success so on ten success similarly in our poisson's distribution as n tends to infinite uh, how many success you are going to have zero success one success two success so on uh, infinite success that's why random variable x goes with uh, zero to infinite uh, and in our first classes when we discussed about a discrete random variable discrete random discrete probability distributions uh, sum of all the probability should equal to one then only we can accept it as a discrete probability distributions otherwise we cannot accept it as discrete probability distributions uh, so hoping that you know you watched our previous classes so this case sigma x is equal to 0 to infinite this is our probability mass function means f of x or we say it as probability function e power minus lambda lambda power x by x factorial that is equal to e power lam minus lambda if you take it out common e power minus lambda sigma x is equal to 0 to infinite lambda power x by x factorial can be converted into as it uh, x goes to infinite this value goes to e power lambda uh, this is also from basic mathematics uh, so that's why e power minus lambda and uh, e power lambda that is equal to one our probability mass function sum of all the random variables probability values leading to one summation is you are getting it as one so we can accept this probability mass function as discrete probability function so this is our probability mass function for Poisson's distribution it is satisfying the condition sigma x is equal to 0 to infinite f of x is equal to 1 so in our next class we are going to discuss uh, with example why we assumed n is equal to infinite and p is equal to p is leading to zero value that is the point you have to understand remaining mathematical terms we, we derived the probability mass function in this class next class we will uh, understand that hope you understand the concept if you have any questions regarding the concept please post your questions in the comment section below thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates thank you